I called it. I absolutely called it. The hacking of my anime list by somebody that apparently loves Serial Experiments Lane was all a marketing ploy to re-hype up interest in Serial Experiments Lane to have a video game come out. My anime list, you need to be investigating this company to make sure that they didn't do all this just as a big marketing ploy. But yes, Serial Experiments Lane is getting a video game, a alternate reality game, an NFT game. I know that's like, <laughs> it slowly comes down. The hype levels just slowly go down until it completely dies. Now, I'm not gonna be the first person to say everything that has NFT tied to it is immediately evil. There is elements that it can be used that are good. Take for instance, a while back, they had this big NFT bleach thing come out that everybody immediately seen NFT and got really angry. Me personally, I read into it and it made sense. What they were doing was they were taking the art of bleach, they were putting it on this very old printing style, making a physical, essentially wall scroll, and then they were they were attaching an NFT code to the actual physical object so that you had a receipt that is timeless. It's always gonna be on the blockchain, it'll always be around, it's a digital receipt basically. I found that to be fine. Now, obviously I've ran into a lot of bad uses of NFT where it's just mostly investments and pictures and JPEGs and all that kind of stuff. Doesn't interest me at all. And yes, in a lot of cases used to exploit people that are trying to make money quick and it just makes the person that created it rich. When it comes to Serial Experiments Lane and this new project, which is called Layer 3301 Decipher, I see in the NFT tag. Of course, I immediately put a pause to it, but I wanted to look more into it. So let's look into it together. Now this whole project is an announcement from Kasagi and Anik. They're launching an alternate reality game. It's titled Layer 3301 Decipher, a game based on the Serial Experiments Lane project, and it's to celebrate the 25th anniversary, which is, <laughs> honestly makes me feel old. <laughs> 25 years? Damn it. Now, there's no game launched yet, but they do have a website you can go to. They were selling an acrylic stand for a while that is attached to an NFT, so you can kind of scan it into a QR code. But the acrylic thing itself was physical. They already sold it out, which honestly really surprised the creator. Their press release says the team behind the cult favorite Serial Experiments Lane is responding to the overwhelming anticipation from super fans as the show approaches its 25th anniversary with the launch of an alternate reality game called Layer 3301 Decipher. Layer 3301 Decipher is an immersive gaming experience that provides fans with a unique opportunity to engage with the enigmatic world of Lane. The game was created under the supervision of Ueda Yasuyuki, the visionary producer behind the anime, as a collaboration between digital collectible anime studio Kasagi and Tokyo-based company Anik to commemorate the anime's milestone. The anime series explores the future where humanity is dependent on connections with others through digital networks called The Wired, which is analogous to the internet that we know of today. The protagonist, a girl named Lane, must traverse this environment to find her place in both the physical and digital world. Layer 3301 Decipher can only be accessed through a soon-to-launch digital collectible named Protocol Key, a nod to protocol technology in the Lane narrative that lets users interact with The Wired. The alternate reality game will allow super fans to unlock new aspects of Lane's story as they use the protocol key to interact with digital elements. Rewards for clearing the game include limited digital, physical, and fidgetal, <laughs> fidgetal memorabilia. I think the fidgetal, they might explain it later, I think the fidgetal stuff is really, because they put it in respect to the acrylic stand. Fidgetal, I'm guessing what they're meaning there is it's physical and digital put together, just like Japan likes to do. They like to take two words and just pfft, together. And so it's physical in that you get a physical item, but there'll probably be some sort of QR code that will link itself to an NFT. So you're getting both. As well as never before seen original cell art, the hand-drawn or painted stills from the animation used to produce the Elaine anime, which will be provided by producer Ueda. So the rewards can include cells, which I think is really awesome. By venturing into the digital universe accessible exclusively through the interactive collectibles, the Lane community can now further explore the concept of network spirituality, a theme that has captivated viewers since the series inception. They quoted Wei as saying, while it wasn't our intention at the time to anticipate the future, I think Serial Experiments Lane is still relevant today because we wanted to create the story of what we thought was an extension use of the future, mixed with a bunch of elements that we thought were interesting. It's a bit occult, and a bit fantastical, with the humanity at the center. As for how fun puzzle solving 
would be for everyone, I don't know yet, but I would be happy if I imagined that longtime fans would make some sort of connection that doesn't end with just Digital World. So I turned the warehouse upside down to offer up some prizes. I hope this will be a new possibility, not only for Lane, but also for animation culture as whole. My hope as Lane's creator is that there will be a representation of the spirit of the experimentation, not bound by genre, social norms, or economic agendas. And I like to thank Antique and Kasagi for this opportunity. I'm gonna put a pause on that last part about economic agendas. The CEO of Kasagi said that more than 25 years ago, Serial Experiments Lane earned its loyal sci-fi following by predicting the rise of digital reality, a concept we've come to appreciate amidst today's digital advancements. Its exploration of network spirituality, where people communicate by tapping into a shared consciousness, is the one that resonates most with Lane fans, which is why it's so fitting that the virtual collection is launching to introduce an interactive experience unlike any other. More details later, blah, 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 blah. You can go to en.serialexperimentslane.io if you want to check it out. So that gets into, what is this? <laughs> it's a lot of talk to say, what is this? Basically at its core, this is an attempt to sell NFTs. Now, that's not entirely a bad thing. In order to access the game itself, you have to buy a token. And that token is essentially an NFT that can be bought by a credit card or by using Ethereum. And once you have that token, you'll be able to access the game itself, which seems to be some sort of expanse story of the original anime. Now, they're claiming that there's going to be new storylines and stuff that you can get into, more information about the world of Serial Experiments Lane that you can eventually run into. You're going to interact with different objects within this space, probably clicking around like a web page. I'm assuming this is all just going to be a website, and you're going to use your token to get access to it. You're going to interact with things. It's going to give you information about the world itself. So if you're a big super fan, you're probably going to get some cool information out of this, or you're probably just going to wait to see if somebody just posts it somewhere else. <laughs> Whatever additional story will be probably posted on a wiki somewhere. But what benefit people will have in actually playing it not just reading it elsewhere, is it seems like this is going to be a chance or an opportunity to get rewards. So you're buying in with buying an NFT, and then you have the chance of getting something else. I'm certain that all these rewards are going to be very limited, but there is a chance that you, what they're claiming, there's a chance that you can get a lot of stuff that they used in the production of the show, which is so far only stated as being animation cells. And yes, for those who don't know, that's just your your cells that they use to actually make the show. So they would clip it down, they would draw each frame and they would flip through it anyways. That would be really cool to get like, I don't know, probably some really rare, just in a cupboard somewhere, <laughs> cells of Lane would be really cool. I think that's the only thing in this whole announcement that I'm like, that would be kind of cool to get. But again, how many do they have? How many people are signing up for this? How many people are gonna get one? That's the big question mark. Cause yes, cells are limited. It's Based on how many cells they made in order to make the show, that's how many cells they had, and probably most of them has been sold or lost. So on one hand, I'm going, yeah, this is just a really dumb, thrown together browser game probably to sell NFTs. That's my that's my cynical side that sees that this is obviously, here is him with this project that's Lane, everybody's excited, they want something new of Lane so badly, and then a bunch of NFT seller companies said, hey, why don't you make a browser game and sell a bunch of NFTs? and that will access the game, and that's gonna make us a bunch of money. And he said, oh, that sounds cool, let's make it Lane-themed. So there's a, there is, there's a negative side of me that's like, this is just a, a dumb project, that's just to sell NFTs. But there is the other side that says, yeah, if they could do some really cool story here and actually do expand the world a little bit, that might be something that super fans would really want. And on top of that, get the opportunity, again, we don't have no signs whatsoever of how you would earn these rewards or how many people would get these rewards, the opportunity to possibly get some really rare memorabilia from the actual show itself. So for most people, besides the super fans of Lane, don't, I would probably just wait until you see the notes of the story that they release later on. If you're a super fan, you're probably going to want to jump in there and see if you can possibly get something. I don't even know if this is going to be very accessible worldwide. It seems like based on the fact they have released this press release overseas, they do want to get worldwide fans involved somehow. I guess the other nice thing about this is they're not really kind of pointing this as being some sort of get rich scheme for NFTs or anything like that. This is literally just a token get to get access to this whole thing. Why they had to use NFTs in order to do this whole project, 
that would go into these guys confronting Ueda and him accepting the stupid project. Which does have me a little bit hesitant to if this will even be any good. Because there's a lot of companies out there that are just trying to sell this stuff any way they could possibly can. But yeah, that's... There you go, celebrate 25th anniversary with the NFTs, um, yay. There is a sad part of it where you're thinking that with something that was so cult classic back in the day that at some point they would get some sort of rebirth of it. They mentioned even in an interview on the site itself about the April Fool's joke itself. And you kind of mentioned the fact that, yes, he tried to build into something, but it seems as if based on how fast things are moving, how fast technology evolves, it's very difficult to write a story like that. Back when Serial Experiments Lane was made, technology wasn't moving too fast. And so he was able to create something that was kind of ahead of its time. And now it's like, how do you do that? When you have just crazy stuff happening in VR and AI and everything just constantly jumping forward at a rapid pace. And it's technically nice in the interview, at least it seems like Ueda is like, it's just not gonna happen. Like, literally, I'm not making one. He bluntly puts it as, now that Ryotaro Nakamura, who was at the core of this project, is no longer with us in this world, I have no intentions of continuing the project. I have no intentions of making a continuation, a new Seer Experiments Lane under my own name, and I don't think that was kind of story to begin with, so... Don't ever expect it. <laughs> Even though they're doing NFTs now. But it is what it is. Um, Japan is finally getting into NFTs, so we're probably going to see a lot more NFT projects jumping up left and right. Even though it seems like every other country has given up on NFTs at this point. <laughs> Japan's always behind, and so they think it's cool. So we'll see where it goes from here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you did, make sure that like button down below. Comment. Let me know what you think. Are you going to jump in there and see if you can get a sell or something like that? Or are you just like, NFT? Nope. <laughs> Additionally, if you're new to the channel, make sure that subscribe button so you got my content. I do news, reviews, first impressions, top list. If it's anime, it's pretty much here. Just if you want to support the channel more, I have a Patreon link, tips link, super thanks button down below, as well as membership button down there. And I'll be having an NFT available here soon so you guys can buy NFTs from me as well. But you all take care.